ladies and gents, it's another week, which means another day in Dreamworld. This week is week number 21, and it's posted by Garrison this time. Before we start, though, I just want to say, aside from anything that's going to be listed in this update, my favourite update is the addition of this sphere in the city. I have absolutely no idea what this is for, but the beauty of it is, if this was added about nine weeks ago, it could have been mistaken for a deceased player. But since they've changed all the models of the players from spheres, I literally could not tell you what this is. Anyway, let's jump into the updates. Bows and arrows, regular explosive and poison. Bow emoji. Yes, this is the bare minimum requirement to be classed as a archery system. It does work. But there's something off about it, and I'll get back to that in a minute. Magic overhaul. Spells cause status effects, deal more damage, and mana regen increases as you level up. Now this is weird, because last I checked, you can't level up. I've checked in game as well, I don't see anywhere that you can level up. What is this leveling system that's being spoke of? And this also brings me back to the archery part. I have three systems in this one game, melee combat, archery, and magic. And although they should all feel slightly different, otherwise what's the point, they, I've noticed that they don't even feel like they belong in the same game. They, they feel like they're all ripped, that each one of the three is ripped from a different game. And it just isn't coherent in any way, which, to be honest, is very expected of Dreamworld. But they just, it feels like three people decided they were going to make a game and went off and made the different combat systems, came back, didn't check with each other on what the kind of feeling they were going for was, and just put them in anyway. Now, this isn't an issue that can translate on video. It, you just, you'd have to play it and feel it for yourself. It just feels off. Ranged combat PvP. Spells and arrows knock back other players. Big flex emoji. It, right. I couldn't find another player to test this on, but I have it on pretty good authority that this works anywhere in the world at any time, and you have no choice to opt in and out of this. You can just be pushed around and annoyed to the other player's content. This is an awful idea. There should at least be a way to opt out of this, but there isn't. This is just going to be abused to high hell. Uh, we, we all know that. Death penalty reduced. 85% of resources kept. 15% in, in the death chest. 0% lost. 15% armor and tool durability lost. Good girl emoji. This was great because previously you lost items on death permanently. Some of them anyway. Um, and you died a lot because the hunger was awful. Fixed a bug where players would be stuck dead if starved to death. Whatever the fuck that emoji is. Also brilliant because I encountered this bug in my last video and it literally breaks the game. Hunger nerfed by 25%. Drooling emoji. Now, despite them saying that they've nerfed it by 25%, and by nerfed hunger, I think they mean nerfed the rate at which your hunger runs out, it doesn't seem to have done anything. At all. In, in fact, the hunger seems to go down faster. I'm still finding myself running from bush to bush, eating berries. Which is a huge problem. Because all I'm doing is eating berries. The hunger I gain from eating one berry from a bush runs out by the time I get to the next bush. It's a perpetual food simulator. Chicken feathers and green screen items added. Now, at first I was worried that the feathers were added so that you could construct a green screen. It's okay, you, you use cacti and leaves instead. Um, which, I literally couldn't find any of the leaves. I cut down all trees, all bushes, in all four biomes. I, I just could not find any. So I don't know if they forgot to add the new leaves, I, I don't know. But either way, I'd like to think that this update is in response to my shitty thumbnails. They've probably looked at them and thought, my god, he could do so much better if we gave him some in-game tools. So I appreciate that. Thank you, Zach and Garrison. Now, while that is all for the written updates, we move on to Amateur Hour, which seems to be a reoccurring segment in every one of my videos. Zach and Garrison released two videos, and this is where I need to remind you guys that this is this is a legitimately multi-million dollar company. They have over two million dollars. So it blows my mind to see that they made two videos 
but they got one of the developer's wives to make them. And this is no disrespect to her. I just want to, I want to say that up front. This is no disrespect to her, but this is more of a, a why. So before we jump in taking a quick look at this video, this is what I would expect to find on a brand new 12 year old's Minecraft channel on their first Let's Play video. It's got every quality you would expect. It's got the video being completely off center frame wise. The left bit's cut off and there's a blank bit on the right. I don't know why, they just shifted the frame. It sounds like this woman is sat in a storm drain with a wind tunnel at the end of it. And they are sat 30 meters away from their microphone which has a consistent hissing noise. I'm in Dream World today, and today we're going to start off as a beginner player. Bar, and that food bar is your screen. You have a health bar, a food bar, and a mana bar. And that food bar is very important. Here he'll give you some instructions, and you'll come in here and you can actually set a quest. So I'm going to do the basic one just to kind of show you how to do it. So the first thing you'll want to do is do a dirt axe. The only thing that's missing to truly make this a 12 year old's first Minecraft Let's Play is her saying something like, absolutely molest the like button, decimate the subscribe button and just shit all over the bell icon. Which by the way, you should do on my video. I feel like it goes without me having to say that it is utterly bewildering that they didn't pay somebody $20 on Fiverr to make this video for them. Or, or at least to edit it and, and do noise reduction and and all of this it's like and even the fact they they did it in one take and any mistakes in speech that they made they left in there now while dreamworld continues to consistently provide us laughable material if rumors that i'm hearing are to be believed we are potentially about to see a dreamworld redemption arc in potentially the best way possible I have a feeling we're about to see this steamboat do a full 180 and start heading in the right direction. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for dropping by. As always, a massive thank you to the patrons. I'm going to be once again over on Twitch playing some group Iron Man on RuneScape. I am still completely addicted to it. I definitely need help and I will see you guys over there. Have an awesome day and a fantastic week as always.